Hi, welcome to Albany Law School. I'm Nick Wall. I'm a second year student and I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Welcome to Albany Law. My name is Ellis. I'm a second year student and uh, I'm from Syracuse, New York. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm a first year student. I'm from Stamford, Connecticut. Hi. So, welcome. As you can see, we're standing right by one of the entrances. So this is one of two public entrances on campus. All other doors are key, ca key card access only. And as you can see, we also have a security desk here. So there is security here pretty much all the time. And we are standing right underneath this picture of one of Albany Law's most esteemed alums, Justice Robert H. Jackson, very well-known Supreme Court Justice. We are right now in the East Foyer. So the school is pretty much a big circle. You'll see as we go around, it can seem a little bit confusing at first. It took me you know, maybe a couple weeks to, to get it down, but it really is just a big circle. So it's not too hard to find your way around. This is one of the more popular classrooms. This is East 117. So this actually is the classroom where I currently have my introduction to lawyering class. So your first year, it's really easy to pick classes. You actually don't have to pick them. They're all laid out for you. Now we're gonna check out the East Wing, which is one of the bigger lecture hall type classrooms. So welcome to the East Wing. So this is the type of classroom that most of your larger classes will be in. First year, pretty much every class except for introduction to lawyering. This is a pretty large room. You know, there's well over 100 seats in here. From my experience, I know it seems really scary, right? You might have heard that first semester of law school, you have the dreaded cold calls where it's just you having to speak in front of your entire class. That will happen, I'm you know, sorry to tell you, but you will get used to it, especially since, like I said, all of your classes will have you know, pretty much the same people in them, and this entire room will not be filled in your first year, probably the first four rows or so, because again, about 60 to 65 people will be in here. One of the best things about Albany Law School is all of the different opportunities that there are to get involved. So right here, we have the Student Bar Association office, so if you're interested in government, which a lot of students here are, you can get you know, some government experience by being on the student government. So SBA does a lot of really great things for the school and they also oversee around 30 clubs and organizations with new ones being added every year. So I hope you're enjoying this virtual tour so far. I hope to get to meet you next year or the following year or whenever you do enroll in Albany Law School. It's been great talking to you so far and now Ellis is going to show you around a little bit more. Over here we have the uh, courtyard, so it's a nice area where you can get outside but still have everything that you need in the school. There's a solar charger out there where you can be charging your phone, your laptop, so you can continue doing work while you're getting some fresh air. And then we're going to keep moving right along over to the cafeteria. So in here, there's plenty of space, plenty of tables for everyone around like noon, two o'clock to come in and get their lunch. Every student actually has a one hour block set so that everyone has time to eat their meals, go uh, see professors. Uh, we even in the cafeteria have little chess and checkerboards as well as our uh, community puzzle. So these are just good ways to de-stress while we're in school. Kind of get your mind off of those contracts and torts cases and and just communicate and hang out with one another. So then uh, where you can come in and buy food, it's open from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, you can come get breakfast or lunch. And we're gonna move right along into the locker room in here. When you're a first year student, everyone automatically gets assigned a locker. So it's plenty of space to be able to throw in extra shoes, jackets, backpacks, purses, whatever you have. Behind you, we also have uh, mailboxes. So every student actually has access to a mailbox. So uh, this is like our upper class lockers. This is actually mine right here. So it's just an area where uh, TAs or professors can put your papers back in there. If you wanted to leave something for a friend, you know exactly where you can leave it. All right, I hope you enjoyed the ride. We're now on the fourth floor of the law school and we're gonna walk right into the DAMC. That's the Dean Alexander Moot courtroom. So this is the largest room in the law school. It actually used to be the library uh, years ago before they did renovations. So when you come in for orientation, as you can see, there's all these seats. This is where you're actually gonna meet everyone for the first time. Uh, we also do symposiums, we do lecture series, and you will have a couple classes in here, but don't be worried because you're never gonna fill this uh, with any class, normally the class sizes are still pretty small. Uh, we also do that uh, moot court comp competition I was telling you about where you actually have judges who are sitting in those chairs over there and uh, they're from the federal uh, district courts, they're from the state circuit courts, or even from the state court of appeals. So I'm going to hand this off to Nick and uh, I think we're going to keep moving right along.
Thanks for slowing down. I got short legs. Yeah, I know. I see that. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna lead you on right in here. So this is another one of our bigger classrooms here on campus. This is the uh, Matthew Bender classroom. Um, one thing that I think is really kind of a cool part of the Albany Law School um, experience that we have is we actually do have a lot of good technological um, type things connecting us to the professors with microphones in case there are things such as like hard of hearing or we have um, cameras up top too that allow for the online type of learning online programs if professors need to kind of record a class they can do so straight from the actual classroom right here we're actually walking to the mckinley lounge is what we call this over here albany law school is one of the oldest law schools in the country um, and one of a very small few law schools that has actually produced a U.S. president. So, President McKinley came to Albany Law School here. One thing that I really like to point out that is kind of a cool little aspect of Albany Law School is Kate Stoneman is an alum of here as well. So Kate Stoneman was actually the first woman that was admitted to the New York State Bar. All right, so kind of moving along too here a little bit down to one of the more fun parts of campus. So obviously, Albany Law School, definitely one of the only schools in the country that has a basketball court in the middle of their law school. Um, what's kind of cool about this, this basketball court is we actually do all sorts of different events in here. Um, every Halloween, we hold the Trick or Treat Street with kids from the community come through and we have all the different clubs on campus that walk around and will give out candy to the kids as they're coming through almost like it's their own little trick or treat street is what we call it. But outside of that we also have a basketball club that plays every Wednesday night. So kind of walking along too here right across from the gym we also have the Dean Suites so it's the President and Dean um, Alicia Ouellette. She's actually also an alum of the law school as well. So this is actually one of my favorite rooms on campus here. We have class in actual moot court style rooms. So every single day I sat right over here and I was listening to my trust and estates professor talking up front, telling us all the intricate parts of the law. But while we were doing it, we were in this type of environment. Um, and I think that that's something that's extremely valuable that you get out of Albany Law School. And this is what we referred to as the 200 room. Um, some of those bigger second and third year courses. A lot of events actually get held in here as well. Christina talked about how this is all kind of enclosed in a big circle. Um, what's kind of cool is we have professor offices right here on the first floor. Um, what that kind of provides for is that, you know, ability to really be walking by, you see your professor's doors open, not feeling bad, just popping in, seeing if they could answer that quick question or they can, you know, have a moment to talk about whatever you're going through. Um, we also have different resources that are available through our wellness initiative that really kind of focus on that mental health and that aspect of the, you know, crazy stressful part of law school. Um, one thing that's kind of cool about each of the foyers, so each class or most of the classes will have TAs, um, which is your teaching assistant, that will actually be a student that just recently went through the class and they'll hold their office hours in between the two foyers um, and you know you stop by and ask them questions. It's a great spot to hang out, a little bit more of that natural light. So if you you know you kind of need that little bit of extra headspace or kind of going off of what we were talking about with some of those wellness initiatives that we do here with the law school, um, we have the Serenity Room, which is kind of a more quiet place that you can really kind of sit down and kind of get in that good headspace. So what like advice would you have for an incoming first year law student? I would say to really take advantage of all the opportunities that you have here. I think you really hit it before when you were talking about how, you know, professors' offices are right here, their doors are open, we have the great staff here. You know, if I could go back and do my first year over again, I think I would have gone to more TA office hours. I did a pretty good job going to, you know, put in FaceTime with professors, but really, you know, taking advantage of all the opportunities that we have here on campus. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's, it is a really good point. I mean, our student to faculty ratio is eight to one. 
Um, so and I think that that approachability of the professors and being able to just kind of feel comfortable going in and talking to the professors is something that is really kind of that aspect of law school that not a lot of people think is going to be really accessible to them, but really going out of their way to be able to go and talk to professors and feel comfortable doing that, um, especially with these smaller class sizes, is something that, you know, knowing it coming in is a good thing to know that that is an option for people. Thanks, Nick and Christina. We're now in the 2000 building. We're at the Career Center. So uh, the Career Center here is great. When you're uh, 1L, you uh, first year law student, you get assigned a career counselor that you get to work with for trying to uh, get jobs while you're in and then after law school. So, and all of this information they have readily available in different pamphlets and then you can also get one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you need help with your writing samples or you just want to do practice interviews, mock interviews, they'll even record these mock interviews and then you can review it with your counselor to understand what is it that you really need to work on. Are you saying um or uh or are you stuttering or how can you best present yourself? In the other half of this 2000 building, we have the uh, Albany Law Justice Center. So you can kind of think of the Justice Center as the Albany Law School law firm, because in here we have five clinics where we allow students to have actual hands-on experience with helping real clients. So coming down here, you're definitely gonna get plenty of experience at Albany Law School. Uh, welcome to the Government Law Center at Albany Law School. So uh, the Government Law Center deals with a lot of public policy issues. Uh, as a one, your first year or a second year law student, you can enter in to the Government Law Center Fellowship. And so that gives you special access to the legislators and government workers that are here in the capital of New York that no other school really has because we're the only school within about a 90 mile radius of us. So being able to have that access to that and have the, the Government Law Center here really gives you a uh, unique advantages if you do choose to go work in government. And welcome to the third floor of the 2000 building. So this is where our uh, business offices are, this is where the alumni relations offices are, this is where the institutional advancement offices are. These are everyone who kind of keeps the machine moving forward that is Albany Law School. So one of the things that the alumni relations office actually does is a program called AIM. It uh, stands for alumni and mentoring. And so that's something that I actually took advantage of while I was a first year student here, where I had an alum who was also my mentor and could really uh, work with me on you know, trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my career as a lawyer, things that I needed to work on, help me with resume, make different connections within the legal community here. And to end, so we are now in the boardroom and uh, on behalf of myself, Nick and Christina, as well as the entire Albany Law family, we just want to say thank you for taking this time to take this tour with us and that we really hope to see you soon.